Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about moving between the different parts of a form with a subform. And you might have a header and a footer and a bunch of other sections. And maybe the tab order isn't going exactly where you want it to go when you press that tab key. So we're going to talk about how to navigate form sections and set the focus on the first field of the first record in the subform. Even if you left that subform previously and you weren't there, I'll explain what all this means in a minute. Now, this is going to be both a beginner and a developer video because I'm going to start off by showing you some keyboard shortcuts you can use, which is just a training issue then to just learn how to you know, navigate around using the keyboard. And then I'm going to teach you a developer means with a couple lines of code so that if you don't feel like remembering all these keyboard shortcuts, you don't have to. You can just press the tab key and it'll go where you want it to go. All right. This is a question I've gotten a couple times in different forums, but today in the forums, Antonio from Lytle, Texas, I hope I pronounced that correctly, one of my gold members posted this in the forums. He said, I've created a parent form that includes a subform. When the subform contains fields in both its header and detail sections, when I tab from the parent form to the subform, it skips the header and navigates directly to the detail section of the subform. Yeah, that's kind of how it's designed. I'd like the tab order to be parent form, subform header, subform detail. Can anyone help me achieve this? Yes, I think we can help you. And I know a couple of the guys already posted answers in the forum. There's, there's lots of different ways to handle this. I'm gonna show you two. Before we get started, if you are a beginner and you don't care about the VB stuff, I'm gonna show you a little bit later. Make sure you understand this stuff, tab order, tab stop, and tab cycle. I cover this stuff in my beginner lessons, but if you've not learned that stuff, go watch this video first and then come on back. And I'm also going to be using my tech help free template today. And this is the video where I cover building the order entry system that I'm going to use for this example because it has a subform. These are free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and come on back. Okay, so here I am in the tech help free template. This is a free database you can download off my website. I've got a customer form. Customers can have orders. And this is a parent form with a sub form in it. Now, normally when you tab, 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 it jumps into the sub form in the first field. Now, I've gotten this question a lot of other ways. Sometimes people ask like, okay, if I tab, 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 tab down to here, okay, and then I come back up top to the parent form, and then I tab, 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 tab. It returns me right to that spot that I was down here. And some people don't like that, right? Because sometimes maybe you'll come up here, you'll go to a new record, and usually it'll jump you back to the first one, not always, okay? But sometimes people want to say, okay, if I'm up here and I tab, 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 I want it to always return me back up to the first field. So that's another version of this question. But what Antonio was saying is he's got a header section in here now, I have a header section. It's right there, but I just have labels in it, okay? So let's make this header section a little bit bigger, and I'm going to move my notes field up into the header. So that's going to act as, like, the first field, okay? So instead of being in the footer, the notes are now in the header. And remember, if a field is in the form header or the form footer, if it's a bound field, that means it's bound to a field in your table, that means it's going to be bound to whatever record you're on in here, right? I cover this in my invoicing video. So if I come in here, this is the notes for the hyperdrive. This is the notes, or these are the notes for the phaser bank. See how that changes as I move from record to record, right? Life support notes, okay? Okay, now here's the problem that Antonio's running into. You go up here, tab, tab, tab. It's on the is paid field over here in the corner. I know, not great tab order. Tab, tab. See, it comes right back down here because that's where I left off. If you're on a new record, let's go to over here, all right? And I'm up top here, right? Tab, 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 tab. See, it's right back down on hard drive again. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to come here to the product notes field here, right? The notes field. All right, so first, the beginner solution. How do we do this with the keyboard with no programming required? Well, we can use the F6 key to jump between the different sections in Access. It's going to include the form you're on and the Access interface itself. So it's not the best solution, but it's the, the free and cheap one that requires no programming. So if I'm up here in the parent detail section and I hit F6, it brings me down to the header of the subform. Okay, hit F6 again, and now you're in the detail section of the subform. Hit it again, and now you're in the footer 
of the subform. All right, three different sections in the subform that I have here. Now here's where it gets tricky. From here, if you hit F6, it puts you over in the navigation pane. And if you hit F6 again, now you're up here. And if you hit F6 again, now you're down here. So I, I, the F6 isn't really the best solution, but if like if you're if you're here and you want to make sure you go down to the subform, right? You tab 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 and and you're in okay, you're in the wrong spot. You can hit F6 and go to the the detail section or shift F6 to go backwards. All right, so you got no F6, F6, shift F6, shift F6, and so on. But if you hit it too many times, you're gonna end up up here. So that's not the best solution. So let's see what the programming solution is. Now, if you've never done any VBA programming before, don't panic, it's not hard. We literally need two lines of code to do what we wanna do today. And there's a little couple extra little things I might show you, but just, it, it's not hard. All right, so go watch this video first. It's not scary, it's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. It's free, it's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel, go watch this. All right, now here's the logic of what we want to do, okay? When I go from the parent form into the subform, okay, when I when I enter the subform, usually using the keyboard, then I want to go to the notes field. And I also want to go to the first record because I don't want to end up in the notes field for you know the third or fourth record if I'm down here. Right? So if I come up here and I tab, 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 tab. I want it to go straight here on the first record. That's, that's what I want to do. Okay, so we need two lines of code to do this. We just got to know where to put them. So let's go into design view. Let's go to the subform control. Remember, there's a box around the entire subform. That is the subform control itself. And if you double click on that box, it'll bring up the property sheet and make sure it says property sheet, subform, sub report. You don't want to be inside the subform because you're going to be on one of these controls in here. It'll say text box or section, you know. No, I want to be on the subform control itself. All right, so make sure you're on that box and it'll say subform sub report. Go to the event tab. There's two events in here. Okay, this is when the subform itself gets the focus. All right, if you tab into it, it's going to get the focus. So the on enter event is what we want. So click on dot, dot, dot. That'll bring up your code builder. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the first record. When I tab into the subform, we're gonna use the go to record command. Do command dot go to record. There it is. Now you can ignore, you can use the defaults for these first two things, right? The object name, the object type, that's fine. Use the defaults, so comma, comma. And then the record we want to go to is AC first, the first record in the subform, okay? And now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put the focus on the field that I wanna be on, which in this case is the notes. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can use set focus. I'm gonna use do command dot go to control, and then I wanna go to the notes field. And it's that simple, it's two lines of code. Okay, all right, save it. Always throw in a debug compile once in a while, right? Come back over here and now watch this. Tab, 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 tab. See that you can briefly see it flashes down here because it goes to the product thing, but then our code kicks in and it moves it right up here, right? So I'll come up, let's do, do it one more time. Tab, 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 boom. And you're right where you wanna be. Now, the next problem, of course, is if I hit tab here, tab, 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 it doesn't jump between the different sections. So I can hit F6 and go down there if I want to, and then tab, 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 tab. Or if you want to, you can also say, okay, if I'm in here and the user hits tab, I want to jump down to the first record of the subform. How do we do that? Well, that's a little more complicated, but again, it's still only like three lines of code. You just got to know where to put it. We basically have to intercept the user's keystroke and say if they're in this field and they hit the tab key, then move down to the product name field. And I'll show you how to do that in tomorrow's class. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you remember, you can watch it right now because that's one of the benefits of membership. 
But while you're waiting for tomorrow's video, if you want to learn more about moving around in a forum using GoToRecord and GoToControl, I have this video. Go watch this. This is free. And of course, if you like learning with me and you want to learn more about this VBA programming thing, what, what is this newfangled stuff the kids are doing? Well, I got tons and tons of developer lessons on my website. I take you through beginner all the way up to advanced developer programming. Uh, there's so much to cover. Uh, there's lots of it. I've got hours and hours and hours of lessons on my website. Don't let it intimidate you. I take you through it step by step. We go with everything from multi-select list boxes to getting stuff off the web to record sets to inventory. You just you name it. I've been doing this for 20 years, and this is the culmination of all of my knowledge. Well, not all of my knowledge, most of my knowledge. <laughs> so check it out. It's on the website. There's the link right there. Tune in tomorrow for part two. And that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your Access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, 
I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.